Hello and welcome back to my Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play with the Cult of Sigma. Last time we confederated Boris Todbringer er, and captured, Sylvain captured Sylvania and um, we defeated Bordelow. Now we are preparing to retake the city of Kavzar, currently known as Skavenblight, and that means a war with Clan Skryer. Now, we must know that we cannot underestimate Clan Scryer because of the because they have nuclear weapons and extreme amounts of sorcery. No evil men of the Empire. What brings We're going to see if we cannot we're going to see if we can ally with the dwarves. Welcome. Okay, we can't. Ally with them yet. We will improve this army here next turn. By giving it all the sword all the great swords and handgunners that they need. And we're going to see what we can do with Kislev as soon as we can declare war on them. We're going to put this wizard in Boris's army. And see you after the end turn. We're back and now we have a dilemma event. We will not lose any fealty. We're now going to improve the army here. I am ready. Are you? So. Get rid of four of uh, them. Now. Recruit armor piercing missiles. That should do it. That should be a good army for him. The expedition is eager. We're gonna we're gonna Step force much over here. There is a green skin army in there, but it's no with with black orcs, big uns, nasty skulkers, our boys, and boys. It's probably not much of a concern, even if we are in force much. Oh, and they do have orc boar boys. Either way, we're so. either way we're going to prepare to fight Clan Scryer. Those who desire Morgiana, Fey Enchantress of Bretonia. Let's ask for some money. It is done. Okay, we can. The Empire. I see no other option. What do you want of me? A wise move. Summon the Elector Counts. Who calls? In the name of Magnus. Oh, Clans Cryer is here. Let's make kill things. We're going to declare war on them next turn because we're currently in force march. And it would be stupid if we declared war on them right right now in this state. Especially because they have nuclear weapons and a bunch of monsters and powerful units. They just don't want to deal with. Not at the moment. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Now he's improving. Let's give Monus to steal. Destroy this. And we're going to research Purge the Fowl. Purge the Fowl soon. The Righteous Hammer of Sigma. We can't recruit anything for him at the moment. We can give him the, so the Swords of Ulrich, which have a Frenzy ability. But I don't think those are strong enough to help us out. We could recruit the Knights of Moor. Yeah, we'll just recruit the Knights of Moor. They look sort of like the... Uh, their front line is kind of... S no, yeah, the, the Knights of Moor, they look kind of like the um, Knights of the Blazing Sun did. We can't build any, any temples, so let's continue improving this. Your orders. Uh, we should actually check on the dwarves, if they can ally with us now. And Bretonia, actually. The of... the no, Bretonia, do Bretonia does not want to ally with us. But the dwarves, yeah, the dwarves do. Let's get a thousand gold out of it if we can. Yeah, they accept it. And we're going to try and reclaim both Ka both Kavzar and Blackfire Pass. See you after the end turn. Okay, we're back, and we can confederate with Avaland, and we shall. We do get one negative Imperial Authority, but it's not big, a big deal. Now we ha now we can disband this army what here, because it's Emperor not... Bid? 
Moving we disband this guy here. He doesn't. He's not doing us any good. Why can't we disband him? Sir. Okay, now we can. Huntsman general. We'll disband him. Yes, my lord. We're going to keep this army and send it up here yes. to help us retake Skaven Blight. This province might revolt a few times now that the chaos is here. So we might need to build an improving the fort. Oh no wait, no wait, it can't revolt because it's a fort. But we might need to it might need to hold against greenskins or something. So it needs to be improved. Do your worst. Let's just let's I've just, got your backs. Let us reclaim. We can return this to Avaland. It I mean Take we just can, I mean, we just confederated with them. I don't know what that would do, but it, would, it says it would give us plus one imperial authority, Let but let's just occupy it. Warning. Let's just occupy it. No greater marksman. We need to go down this this line so we can improve the Huntsman. They can get ludicrously powerful with him. Let's improve Banishment. And check on Kach on Koron. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're under siege by Ikid Claw and two of his generals. Let's actually check if we can improve uh, alert. We're going to need to put lots of points into alert now that we're going to be at war with the Skaven. Yes. Greetings. Who seeks my wise counsel? I'd like to have a defensive alliance with her, and it appears that they've actually raised her capital. In exchange for that, I joined a war against Clan Skraya. Oh, we can get some more money out of it. Let's see if we can get a thousand. We can. How about a two thousand? No. How about uh, one thousand five hundred? That seems like a good number. Yes, and we're now at war with Ikid Claw. By the comet. Ikid Claw has nuclear weapons, and we don't want to deal with nuclear weapons. Both his armies are in force march. We possess lightning strike. And I suppose it's preferable that we fight their armies one by one. Will. Yeah, they have. He has great. He has a few good units here, and these guys are a real pain in the ass to deal with. And even with lightning strike, it says that we would not win this fight. Okay, I think that against just one of these armies, I can win. Against both of them, I cannot win. Against both these armies combined, they're far too powerful. He has far too many heroes in it. Ah, uh, yeah, now I see why there's the balance of power is so high for him. He has a ton of heroes. They're all in Force March, and uh, there's fewer of them. We will, uh, we will have to do this in a checkerboard deployment, because he has indeed got nuclear weapons. If we can keep... If we can keep leveling up Karl Franz and putting points into alert, the chances of us being ambushed are low. And we can hope that he wastes his nuclear weapons on pointless units, though he can still wipe out an entire battalion. Now we're going to set up on this hill here. Put these guys here. Put these guys here. These guys in a little bit behind them. Someone behind them. Behind us. Behind us as well, a bit. Now we'd like to have these guys deploy. A little bit. We'll just all drag. We'll just quickly drag them all here and deploy them once the battle starts. No, I'd like to have him like this. We're gonna quickly pause the game and deploy our units. So we'd like to have both these guys try and go on this hill. Have these guys around here. These guys on the flanks. And like... So...
we need to be spaced apart a little bit, otherwise we get killed by the nuke. And Eldred's guard will be a little bit behind our artillery. The archers will put them spaced out around behind the infantry. Okay, like so. We are ready! And let's hope that we don't get nuked. Sigma calls. Let us hope that we don't get nuked by him. At least not in any way that matters. Let's hope that, take, that at most he takes out one battalion. Because that's the problem in fighting Clan Scryer. You never know who's going to get nuked. Okay, it's those guys. Get him out of there. Get everyone out of there. Okay, we lost most of the battalion. They haven't been wiped out, but we've lost most of the battalion. But they've wasted their... But they pretty much wasted their nuclear weapon. Okay, they're casting another spell. Get this guy on the hill. And... Now we can deploy in a line. Now we can deploy in a line. That's good. Let's keep these guys in reserve. Go! Taking position! Moving now! We are Sigma's heirs! Okay. They are charge we're gonna charge our anti large units into their into their uh, doom wheels. Doom flares, I mean. The Ready hammer of the witches war. is going to fire on those guys. For the twin tail comet! Let's fire on the on the elite units that we cannot allow to live. Okay, this fight's going pretty well at the moment. Okay, I'd like to focus all fire on Ikat Claw. Focus fire on Ikat Claw. Okay, these guys have charge defense against all. We're gonna charge into their flank eventually. Karl Franz should go fight Ikat Claw if he can. Okay, they should not be fighting that. Get the Demigod Knights out of that fight, they shouldn't be involved in it. Okay, that's Ikid Claw being shot. Okay, they should stop shooting Ikid Claw and start trying to shoot those guys. Now, a pendulum here would help out quite a lot. Now, we shield them here. Good, that was a... We'll just have Karl Franz hero tank these guys. I will melt the tiny mines. We gotta go help out the Demigriff Knights. The we are using a good ability here. Good, Karl Franz has... Thanks that Karl Franz has defeated them. The Shoot those guys, they cannot be allowed to live. I should very quickly put these guys on guard mode. I keep forgetting to do that at the start of every battle. Okay, the Demigod of Knights should run out of that fight and then try and charge back in. Those are just clan rats, but they're being blessed with filth. That's good for them. I think Ikid Claw has fallen indeed. We really need to get him, Karl Franz on Death Claw. Yes, sir! Taking position! Run out of there. Run behind the infantry. I sure hope they don't have any more missiles like those. The first nuclear missile already almost wiped out one of our battalions. Actually, we're gonna retreat them out of the battlefield now. Okay, they are... Okay, crap, they have that stupid unit back. They've recovered it. Nope, Ikitlot is still alive. Let's charge him in. I think they're suffering army losses now. Yes, they've suffered army losses. Okay, so one by one we can beat his armies. The, 
problem is we if we deploy correctly, then the Skaven armies aren't a big deal. The problem is he prevents us from deploying the way we want to deploy, because he has the nuke. And he can nuke our units out of existence if he wants. But that was a decent enough victory for us. We just need to invest points into Wary at this point. And that's a lot of their heroes gone. They are very powerful units. His heroes are the real problem. Good job on uh, Ralf von Altdorf there. He's doing a good job getting his points in. Lots of kills, no one got wiped out. We need the replenishment and... Let's be honest, who's gonna pay for those Skaven? Absolutely no one. Okay, he had a severe malfunction and exploded. We need points in alert. Definitely need points into alert. 30% ambush defense chance. It's a real pain that um, Skarsnik is gone because the Skarsnik defeat trait gives us plus... I think it's 30%... Um, no, it's plus 20% ambush success and defense chance. Now, what unit would be important assaulting? I think it would be important to assault these guys. They're very dangerous. Ultimate force. Unfortunately, what? it's no longer assault all units. I thought it was assault all units, but no well. What do you want of me? He succeeded. Good. He leveled up. No peace, just war. Now, I think that if I auto resolve it, fine. They no longer have a nuke. If I auto resolve it, I will assume that both these units are going to disappear. We cannot afford that. Once again, he has too many hero units, though. And he's got magic. But this time we can actually deploy the way I want to deploy. So let's deploy the way I want to deploy this time around. They don't have the things that would have prevented us from deploying. If fights start getting redundant, I might start cutting them out. Okay, they have a... This is not a choke point battle. This is a... Oh, no, wait. I thought it was an un unfightable battle, but no, they have a choke point battle here. They have a good choke point there for them to defend. Two of them. And once again, we have forest. That, that might be to our advantage. Okay, we're going to keep these guys behind. Together, together with Aldrich Scott. Defending those guys. Now, we're going to do, once again, the deployment correctly. Let's put these guys all the way back here so we don't accidentally yes, select them. Okay, now we're gonna put all of our units here. Like this. That's the way we want to deploy them. Smoke and mirrors. Our wizard's gonna be in behind. My subjects call. Yes, General. For someone who claims smoke and mirrors being his magic, he sure does a lot of direct damage. I don't think... Uh, s Opening a portal to another dimension is smoke and mirrors. That's actually really powerful magic. And they're gonna hide out in this forest until the time is right. And now we're gonna shoot them. We have artillery advantage over the Skaven. Something you'd never think to hear is I have artillery advantage over the Skaven. Haha. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, guard mode. Okay. Yeah, shoot them, please. Hammer of the Witches. We're going to really need to start preparing ourselves for tough fights against these guys. Ah, that's some nice guess, artillery strikes right there. Some bombardment. If those Doom Flayers start... Okay, we want to get them to here, but slowly, so they don't get seen. Okay, someone spawned something in. Save the artillery, save the artillery, save the artillery, save the artillery. Okay, we are at full mana almost. Oh, full mana. I mean mo full mo full winds of magic. When I say mana, I mean winds of magic, okay? I'm just used to calling magic mana. Let's shoot the large units with the anti-large guys. And counter charge them with Demigriff Knights. If they don't get wiped out in time. Let's make them slow. Oh, that's sorcery. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Ooh, that's, that one hurt. But backspace, we can continue shooting at them now. Okay, good. That's their units wiped out. Okay, get behind us. 
Soldiers of the Empire, by Ulrich Schroth, ready for war. That's one of their generals trying to. Albedeers. One there. Yeah, one of their generals. Infector the Mad. Well, that's not a good name. That name doesn't sound like good things. Okay, I think they dealt more damage to themselves there than to us. Danny Griff Knights, get out of there. Sigma! Fire! Fire! Okay, get Elder Scott in there. We need to get the Danny Griff Knights to charge. More important units. Okay, let's slow the things down and see if we cannot find a good place for a pendulum. We'd like to get rid of as many of these guys as possible. Let's avoid as much friendly fire as humanly possible. Where is Karl Franz? Let's send him in to fight the assassin. The faster he gets on Deathclaw, the better. Because that would allow him to... Because this cause that would allow him to actually get to places faster, and I'd like him to get to places, fa to places faster. Okay, he's... As soon as he, engage, he needs to engage with that Skaven guy there. The Skaven is trying to... Okay, okay now the Skaven is slowing down. We can use Enfeebling Foe on him. And now Kalfranz can destroy him. Oh god, our Demigriff Knights are constantly being caught. Taking position. I'm trying to see... well... You can see the Skaven here fighting our our halberdiers. That's one of their generals, I think, with his Warpstone Spear. Yeah, that's their Warlock Engineer. The guy's been casting spells this whole time. And Warp Lightning is a very cheap and cost-effective spell. It does tons of damage for a very, for a very, very low price. These Demigriff Knights need to follow those guys. And these guys need to get out of the field before they die. Okay, that's that general eliminated. We can go back here. By Galmaraz. Okay, which okay, it's all it's all V1 guys, so. Let's improve their strength so they win. Terrible great source are wounded, put him in reserve. Great Swords are going to battle. Karl Franz is still fighting. Let's enfeebling foe. I think we've won. Yep, we've won and I don't think any units been wiped out. That's good. And since they weren't forced much, they're all eliminated. But yeah, now they have no nuclear weapons, so now is a good time to strike. We always have to be very careful when they have the nuclear weapons. Because when, if we deploy correctly, the Skaven aren't too big of a threat. The problem with Clan Scryer is they, have, they prevent us from deploying the way we want to. And they keep putting so many heroes into their armies. Because their hero spam really is really painful for us. Yeah, because we only lost 281 this time around. Because we deployed correctly. We're going to execute them because no one's going to pay for them anyway. Sigma compels us on Now, if we could, if only we could go hit those guys, but we in the can't. Name of Magnus. So, we need to put points into alert. If we could get to them, I'd do it. I'd kill them, but Preparing I can't. Rites of exorcism. Now we need to put points into this. And see if we have any other armies at the moment. I can move on. No, he's going to destroy this. Reclaim Akendorf. Improve, we're going to improve the weaving house. Yeah, the weaving house into a cloth here. We're going to build walls. Build walls. Jade wizard. Okay, he's currently exhausted. But he can do something to level up. He can try and steal technology from them. There's a 4% chance that, he get, that, he, that he'll get wounded, but we're going to take the risk. He failed, but it doesn't matter. In one more turn, he'll be immortal. That's good. To, that's good. He needs to become immortal. That's all that matters. Now we can get stand your ground. Yeah, that would be useful. And I think we're done for this turn. 
Unless the High Elves would want to, to um, be in, in an alliance with us. Tyria. Because we're, indeed going, because we're going to indeed send a force here to eventually deal with the Dark Elves. Yeah, yes, yes. We know that you're the champion of the Everqueen, and we all know that you're sleeping with the Everqueen. In, unfortunately, in the game, he does have a bias against her. He, wait a second. No, he actually killed her in this game. He killed her for some reason. They must have been ha their relationship must have been having some serious problems if he decided to kill her. I don't know what kind of relationship issues they were having, but they must have been, but it must have been very severe for that to happen. Is it time? Flame off. Actually, would it count as domestic abuse? Would it count? Would it count as domestic abuse if he was uh, actually trying to, to harm her? I'm not sure. Does it? Oh well. See you after the. Oh well. Oh right. Destroy this and this so we can build the uh, the legendary building. Yeah, we cannot allow... Oh, we do have an Imperial Academy and a Sigma... Oh, yeah, we did get quite a few good things from this confederation. We want the untainted one. Because even with this... Even with plus 12 untainted, we're still going up. Goddamn chaos. It just says plus one chaos corruption in all provinces. And chaos hasn't even really been seen yet. Can't be good, though. Let us move. How are the defenses in this province? Decent, but not decent, but not spectacular at all. No, we need to improve it. Yeah, like this, we'd have. Eh, yeah, decent, yeah. See you after the end turn. And we're back. Ah, and well, we need to move any character to Ostermark. I think we have someone that can do that. Yeah, he can. Who calls? I think this here is Ostermark. Yeah, Let it's Ostermark. Move. Ambush has been foiled. Okay, that's that completed. Now we need to amass a treasury of that. Oh. Okay, find them. So, yeah, the um, part. Arnesa Salt Spite is really try is really steamrolling the greenskins at the moment. No greater marksman. We don't need this province under our control, so let's just raise it. We'll handle this. Wipe it off the map. Yep, we're gonna wipe it off the map. That's that quest completed, so we just lost a bunch of money. And now we need to win three battles. We'll see using Emperor Karl Franz, win three battles. Against the greenskin stripe. That's gonna event that's gonna happen eventually, I think. And now we have the st the double shot thing. That's gonna be really be useful once it comes into play. What does the emperor bid? Onwards. Okay, we can march all the way up until this point, I think. Greetings, Sigmas. Let's chosen. ask the let's ask the dwarves if they want to join the war against the. They might. They might. They might. Okay, let's offer them a payment. Nine. Okay, not just yet, but they might join us eventually. Now I saw Coming that they. Now I saw them going up here. Make haste, men. Okay, that's a bunch of armies. No point. Let's Attack. get them before they start recruiting. Against Sigma's teachings. Let's go. Okay, we could. Luckily, we don't have to settle it, and we can just claim it. It is indeed a walled settlement, but it only has this uh, this pathetic garrison here of Skaven slaves. Now, if we were to, I can. I'll trust that the auto resolve doesn't rob us of any units. Did not. We'll just occupy. We'll occupy it. Okay, we've occupied the city. Now we need to use our guy to scout ahead. Because I know that all Bil Bilbali, Talea, and all that stuff is definitely under Skaven control. 
Yeah. No, he was in force much. Yeah, he'll get here in two turns, I think. Now. Karl Franz has not leveled up, but this guy has. Now, the Withering would be a useful spell against the Skaven. We need to have a few bases to fight them in. Slaughter the sheep. Stupid, stupid. Who's stupid, you or me? It's him. I'm pretty sure it's him. He's the stupid one. By the comet. Goddamn vampire corruption being spread everywhere by, an, by a Renaissance assault spite. How long until his army is ready? I Two turns. Ready. Are you? I am ready. But not for chaos. Okay, we need to improve this. And next turn we need to research Purge the Fell. Foul. Purge the Foul because it improves us. 10 male defense when fighting against Skaven, Greenskins and Lizardmen. Lizardmen are the only ones that don't fit into the Foul category there, but okay. If the game says so. Who calls me okay, this is a very shitty army, but try and fight that. And it'll never not be a shit army now that I've claimed her capital. I command but I needed here. a place to re but I needed a place to replenish. We need some more great swords. Of cross. Okay, so okay, come on, let's see. Level up. Yes, he's leveled up. And immortality for Aldebrand and Tretzmann. Finally, he can rejoin si in Volkmar's army. Screams no. What screams no? When can we declare war on no. Kislev? It's probably not a good idea to declare war on Kislev until the first Doom invasion has... Until we've defeated the first invasion. Kislev. In the north, we have cold hearts and heads. Good for hunting out half-truths and lies. I like his Russian accent. Yes? Now... Do we have a lightning strike? We do. That's the most important thing. Okay, yeah, we can then... So we can claim the these Empire. places. Does he have enough... Does he have enough mortars in that army? Grand Theogenist. Does he think he's got enough mortars at some point, huh? Does this guy understand the concept of enough mortars and artillery? He's got quite a decent army. Because, I mean, it's a very spammy and weird and ridiculous army. But with the help of the garrison, it might win. Especially because these guys are a problem, and this... Yeah, it's all... It's three mortars. Okay, it's a decent army. We have very little we can do against it. We can try and use Knights of Moor and those things to... Ready to burn them! Ready to burn them! Huh, <laughs> pyromaniac over here! Okay, see you after the end turn. Okay, we have another dilemma event. Nordland's being attacked by the uh, Norskans. We're not going to bother fighting it out. We succeed. And we claim it. Okay, now we have more... Okay, now our infantry is better as, as a whole. And we are not rich enough to use that. Why are we pr suddenly so poor? Okay. Okay, I got something that doesn't matter. We're suddenly very poor. It takes next turn we can do the quest battle. Marcus Wolfhart. Now Marcus Wolfhart will Can he run quickly run down here? Increase the pace. Now the dwarves are battling the greenskins quite effectively. And Karl Franz has been put under siege. <laughs> so Bad no idea. So no replenishment for him this turn. We'd, they still do not have nuclear weapons, but I still like to not fight all that at once. God damn it, that the bounce of power chain. God damn it, now we're gonna have to fight out, because these things here are massive bounce of power cha changers as well as this, but this army here is pretty weak as a whole. As soon as we get rid of the infantry, we can just quickly focus fire and use our demigraph knights against those things. And since they don't have any artillery or any um, nuclear weapons, we can actually focus on them. And I don't think this is a Sorcerer Lord as well. No, this is indeed a Sorcerer Lord. In his me in his mech suit that prob that's probably like three seconds away from falling apart and killing him. Yeah, Skaven artillery and Skaven technology is not very good. I mean, it's highly advanced, it's just not safe. Your artillery, Graf! 
Once again, once again, there they go with Graf. Graf. This is the Emperor. This here is the Emperor. Emperor Karl Franz, or Kaiser Karl Franz, if they're gonna go with their if they're gonna go with their German, German speech. So it, if they're gonna go with their German speech, then they should call him Kaiser Karl Franz, and they should say stuff like "Ja, yeah, mein Kaiser," as they as the um, members of the Holy Roman Empire do in the. What's it called? Uh, medieval 2. Total War Medieval 2. There, there they say, st there the Holy Roman Empire guys say, Hey, ja, mein Kaiser. Doing it for... And then they say stuff, yeah, they say stuff like that, like, Yes, mein Kaiser. Because that's the correct term for what... Because that's the term, because that's the German word for Emperor. Graf is the German word for Count. See, you learn something every day. Okay, Karl Franz, Emperor, or Count, go up there. Okay, shoot that. Okay, fire on their... Uh, we'll just shoot those guys down with our... With, uh, no, okay, Storm Vermin, Sword and Shield, those guys need to be taken down. They're, uh, they're sort of elite. Actually, what? These guys are blue, right? Yeah, the... White wolves are blue. Then why aren't they the blue wolves if they're if they're blue and not white? Fighting rage, sir. Okay, shoot that guy as soon as he comes in range. Shoot, shoot the warp fire throwers. Conditions acceptable. Shoot those guys. Shoot the warp fire throwers. Get out of there! Mm, that hurt. Okay, the warp fire throws are gone. Can't forget to guard mode them. Aha! You've put yourself. It was right where I wanted you guys to. Good. They should. They should. Yeah, yeah. They're definitely winning that engagement. Let's uh, make it so they win it faster and not allow these guys to escape. Elder Scott. Uh, okay, Elder Scott, take care of that. Okay, so. Okay, 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 okay. They have managed to get into melee with the White Wolves. We're gonna clear them out. Okay, let's see if this pendulum clears them all out. Hopefully, the White Wolves can hold the line long enough for that to happen. Okay, there comes the pendulum. Okay, yeah, it killed about half of them. Okay, that thing must be eliminated. It cannot be allowed to return. We are Sigma's heirs. We obey. Start trying to surround them. Charge! No! Go, Maras. Okay, yeah, shoot them in the back. Have they won? I think they've either won or it's run away. Elder Scott, stop him. Don't let him run away. Smoke and mirrors is really coming in useful. Not smoke and mirrors, uh, what's it called? Malko is mystifying miasma. Death runners, gotta get them. Get Karl Franz in there. Okay, they should win this engagement. Yeah, because this is what these guys are made for. And these guys are these things here are anti-infantry, and the demigod knights with halberts are anti-large. So they're winning this engagement as they should. Yeah, there go those. Yeah, those stupid contraptions are exploding. Huh. This this thing is like a death motorcycle. Cool, and we're gonna wreck his brand new ride. It's always so sad when that happens to someone, right? Getting their new motorcycle wrecked. Their new motorcycle or their new car. Just turn you anything. Come on, don't let it escape. Okay, it did not escape. We need to chase down whatever we can. Deathwind Globadiers. I hope we can still get to them in no no there's there's no chance we'll get to them in. 
yeah, there's actually there's a small chance that we might no, 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 we're not going ground time. Decisive victory. See, that was much easier this time around. Okay, so these guys are both of these guys are gone. One of them survived. I think this army now has to be now we have to fight this army again. Once again with lightning strike. Okay, and then I think we need to fight the other one. That one is much weaker, I think. Not nowhere near as powerful as these one. As this one was. The okay. Yeah, both of these guys are gone. So that's so that's gonna make it much easier. That's why these guys are useful for. Someone's paying a someone wants to pay a pretty penny for these uh Skaven. But I don't think anyone would. So let's just execute them. They're I far too dis and Okay, they're far too disgusting to live anyway. Okay, now we could recover for one the turn. But if I try that, they'll just they'll just put me under siege again. And this army here is much easier to defeat, I so here. let's destroy Into these guys. Battle. We have to do this, otherwise the game We have to do all these battles, otherwise we just lose too many units. Okay, once again this is focused on these two guys. Do the correct deployment. This time our cavalry is not going to be useful at all. But, hmm. Luckily, uh, but luckily they have no more nuclear weapons. And if we can get them to lose their nuclear weapons on a not far too vital fight, then we can always succeed. Because as I fixed... Uh, because as I have explained before, the problem with fighting the Skaven is that they... Okay, yeah, well, oh my god, look at this phenomenal high ground, oh, yeah. The thing with the Skaven is that they have poor leadership and bad infantry, but they have great... But they have phenomenal artillery and... Um, we can walk up a little bit more to high ground, but... We can, can up there. Up here. But the um, but the uh, infantry isn't too good, but the nuclear weapon pre Albert they have prevent us from deploying correctly, and if they prevent us from deploying correctly, we can't ac actually counteract we their infantry. We can't actually counteract the fact that they have bad infantry with by using our better infantry. Okay, they have higher ground here, so they can shoot them, so we can shoot over them. But they're gonna stay here and right in front first. As is the Emperor. And both these guys. To guard mode, and now we're. And the nuclear weapon prevents us from deploying correctly, which is the best counter to the. Okay, yeah, they're not moving forward, so. They don't have nuclear weapons, so this is pointless. Okay, we're going to need to shoot them a little bit. Or we could use our wizard to draw them forward. Let's use our wizard to try and draw them forward a bit. Okay, they're wasting their shots, but doesn't matter. At, once. Yeah, at least they're at least they are wasting their menace below. Spearmen. Okay, okay yeah, they're moving forward now. They've seen my wizard. I think they've decided they want to move forward now. Now, let's see. They're gonna be around this. Okay, they're gonna be around here soon. Okay, I think that's gonna hit him. Yeah, it hit quite. It hit a few of them. It hit enough. Predicting where they're gonna be is always a pain in the ass. As I'm very bad at Oh god, get back here! Okay, he got a severe beating from them I didn't when I wasn't looking. These are not illusions, man. These are not illusions. This is that pendulum was very real and the portal to another dimension is also very real. Because the people that get hit by it die, and illusions don't and illusions don't tend to be lethal usually. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, our hidden guns have been revealed. Oh, they can fire whilst moving. I didn't. I forgot that about the huntsman. Is it all huntsmen everywhere that have the double shot, or is it just these guys, or is it just the ones that are with the other guy? Let's see here. They, if two lines come out of this shot, okay. I don't. I think all of them have double shot now. Not sure though. These guys are gonna defend themselves. Get out of there. Okay, get, get out of there. Okay. Focus fire on those guys. Charge into them. He's a bit of shades. He's not gonna melt anyone's minds. He's gonna send them to another dimension. Oh, and they electrocuted us. Seems like a fair. Mm, seems like a fair air counter to our to our ability. We send them to another dimension, and they elect and they fry us with lightning. Okay, are their guys gone? Okay, those guys are important. We need to shoot them. They cannot be allowed to survive. They're constantly killing our, our melee, I mean our range units, but they're in, they're invisible ones. Oh, that's always so painful, the warp lightning. Such a, just a cheap and cost-effective spell. It's one of the few spells the AI actually knows how to use correctly. It's like a much weaker version of Foot of Cork. Well, not much weaker, just much lower surface area that it covers. Not surface area, it covers a much lower area. Ah, man, these guys have been wiped out. So now we're going to be stuck here for two turns recovering. Enfeebling foe. Okay, that's... He's casting more spells! Damn it! These guys are under the effect of... Oh, Weeping Blade, minus 50 armor. That explains why we take so much damage. Okay, that's those guys dealt with. I think we have enough time for the for Geld's quest battle, which is what I want to do this whole time. Yeah, we we might have time for it. And if yeah, the episode might run a little bit longer, but mm, why not? I want to do the quest battle, and I don't want to delay it. Let's see if this if we can now quickly finish off that enemy. If I have to fight him, I will just fight him off screen. Okay, fine. We lose both these halberdiers. We'll execute them. Those guys are gone. He's dead. They're gone. Dead. Oh wait, that was a 10% under success or defense chance? Okay, Scaven Blight is indeed under their control. We got something out of that. What was it? Yeah. Equipment gained. Okay, that was a ambush success chance. Uh, I prefer it was here ambush defense I chance, but here. ambush success chance also helps. This, some of this, some of this. He's not supposed to be fighting, but we get a good a bunch of new weapons. Okay, now we finished off alert. Yeah, we can get headhunter. It helps. Bring me to my men. Now, okay. Once again, we need to fight this battle, but I will just fight it off screen so we have enough time for the uh, for the quest battle. So I'll see you after this battle. And there we go. I have won. Now I think I may have lost the hammer of the witches because they kept spawning their units on top of the on top of it but uh, the fight wasn't too terribly interesting 
And so, the, if the Hammer of the Witches is lost, we'll just replace it with some other Regiment of Renown. And the important thing is, now we might have a few turns to recover. And that's the most important thing. We need a few turns to recover from the fights we had. I mean, our, uh, our units are doing fine. Nope, we keep the Hammer of the Witches, we keep everyone. Nobody got what that. We execute the captives. Bring me to my men. Let's go. And we return On back march. to Castle Carcassonne. I am Prince and Emperor. We recruit some more Hobbitier. One Hobbitier and one Flagellant. Might as well. Recruit one of them. What? We will get magical reserves. Two levels and he's immortal. Now let's see how the military power of Clan Scryer is at the moment. Absolutely crippled. It's been absolutely crippled, okay. I have no particular attachment to this army or any general in it. So let's just see where we can get with this. We need to continuously weaken Skaven Blight has a full 20 unit garrison. That's a powerful garrison. No. For the wisdom of the layer. The expedition is eager. I don't think there's anything left for us to do this turn. We leveled up. Yeah, can put points into Blade Master. Since he was going to be defending a settlement most likely, we're gonna take him off his warhorse. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Put him close to this. Onwards. We will declare war on them soon. You will drink with us. Then we will see who still stands. They're still uh, no, they're no longer at war with anyone we really care about. Yes. The Jade Griffin is important, but I don't want to start any more unnecessary wars, so I will cast out all we'll keep we'll keep it for later. We'll wait for later. We'll get it at a later date. Now we can improve the cavalry. Okay, see you after the end turn. Okay, we have a rogue army talking to us here. And no, I don't make non-aggression packs with rogue armies. They're, they're against chaos at the moment. We'll just destroy that rogue army uh, once our army has recovered. Okay, puppets of chaos are on their way here. But Lothurn can defend against them. In fact, we're going to tell that Lothurn army to just kill them. Okay, they do have a... Okay, the Fainchandles is indeed moving on with her. She's moving her crap army forward. How much you want to bet Skavenor here? Preparing rites of exorcism. Yes, they are, and they're trying to rebuild their empire. Okay, now... Gladly. Tell the army to try and follow that one. Aquitaine. We can build. Smithy. By the one more turn and we can fight and we can fight with the army again. To the provinces. Okay, that arm. Okay, that arm. That there belongs to the parts of Sartosa. By Sigma's right. So it would be possible to claim Skaven Blight soon, if we can push him back all the way to Skaven Blight, then Skaven Blight will be ours. Marcus, and during the siege, I'll tell you the story. Agreed. They will fall. Put them under siege here. Ready yourselves. Might as well just claim we it now. Win. Yeah, nothing bad happened. The Emperor we can claims this place. Occupy. Seek, destroy. Make purge the foul. Oh no, we can't do that. We can't do that yet. We're going to need to wait first. We want the uh, removing corruption stance. Let us begin. And I now we do the quest ready. battle. Are you? Yeah, let's do the quest battle. I am ready, Gelt. The question is, are you? 
It's gonna be a... Okay, it says it's gonna be an easy fight, but I think they have reinforcements. Now we have the Witch Hunter. Or Kel's army is... Yeah, it's, it's ready, it's ready, it can fight. That's this, that's the, um, that'll be the last battle for the day, and we are continuing our, continuing our push on Skaven Blight. It's one of the things we need to have to win the game, so we will claim it. Then eventually, after the Doom Tide has... Well, after we've defeated the first Chaos Invasion, we'll quickly make a war with Kislev, and then we'll take the rest of it. The few, the provinces that we need. Men of the Empire! I am no warrior priest blessed with the gift of making grand speeches. I am no orator, that is true. But I am not a cold man, despite this mask, frozen in its stern aspect. What we do this day is not just some plot to gain favor for the mantle of Supreme Patriarch. No, there is much more at risk. If the Mountain God awakes, if Sun Eater is roused from his ancient slumber, all that we hold precious is doomed. We must stop the summoning and stop it now! Okay, I think the, the episode's getting a little bit long, but let's finish this. So let's just, so let's just finish this fight. It can be done with it. We have some good high ground to deploy on. Put infant put halberdiers on the flanks. Yeah, okay, a little bit on a little bit higher ground, I think. Like that, yeah, like that. They have the high ground advantage. Pull these guys back a little bit. This is phenomenal. The hand gunners can all fire because they're on higher ground. Crossbows ready, General. The Empire endures. Okay, a little bit higher ground still for the awesome rocket battery, so they don't do any friendly fire. Gelt will be behind them. Judgment is coming. Sterling's revenge. Sterling's revenge can stay up there with them. And let's use the Outriders to lure forth the enemy. They don't have any range units, but they do have Chaos Knights, but we're much faster than Chaos Knights. Let's check out the Chaos Knights, though, quickly. We don't have much time, but we can still look at them. Yeah, they look cool with their lances. This is in the evil horses with their evil armor. And they're all on fire and stuff. And their shields, everyone here. The Chaos Giant, ugh! God, this is ugly! He's ugly as all hell. Yeah, not even- that's a face not even a mother could love. In fact, he should probably invest in plastic surgery. Ah, uh, what am I saying? No plastic surgeon can save that! Haha, <laughs> yes, come on, you guys can reload. They no. come! They come! I channel the wind of Shamon! I'll have them as bronze statuary before they finish me! Bronze statuary? Oh, come on, Geld. You can make him into gold, right? Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, run, run, run! Don't let him catch you! That did not help too much. They do have a problem right now because of magic. Okay, let's triple speed it. At the moment nothing is happening and we can't actually attack them. We got one kill, but we got a good amount of damage on those guys. Okay, every unit... Guard mode. Before I forget. We'll just use them as missile troops. Okay, fire. fire! Yeah, fire. In this case, it is indeed fire because you only say fire with fu with firearms. And these are all firearms. Otherwise, it's loose with bows. Oh yeah! Let artillery fire rain down on these imbeciles. Else they can, they may try to destroy the world, but they will not succeed today. Not while Gelt is here. 
Not whilst Geld draws breath. They will not succeed. They will not succeed at destroying the world as long as Geld draws breath. So long as Geld draws breath, they shall never succeed. Okay, let's kill their general. Oh, okay. Stalin's revenge. Good Stalin's revenge, and a few of our guys to turn around and shoot the Chaos Knights. Okay, their general just died immediately. I didn't even see what happened. And their general just dropped. Like, like, like that. Just like that. Okay, those guys have broken. You know, it's all shooter someone that's more worthwhile. Oh god. What do you think? But uh, uh, my camera got stuck on something. That's not good. Okay, shoot them. Sigma guide our fire. Sigma. Okay, everybody move in. Let's just move in. Get behind them. Okay, Plague of Frost. Glittering rope. All the bonuses. We await your orders. Baltazar guilt. Cast the spell there. Feel my fire. Get a little bit further back. Great swords! Take the ground! Sterling's revenge! Sterling's revenge Cross has to fight in melee. General. Charge the battle him! That was a lot of destruction right there, very quick destruction. General! For the war hammer! Yes, sir! All Shoot those guys, and I think we've won. <laughs> that was absolute annihilation. I'm actually going to save replay this one so I can see what happened, because I have no idea what the hell happened there. I think I misspelled it. Well, there you have it. That was Gelt's quest battle. We just annihilated the Chaos Army. Hopefully the rest of the Chaos Armies will be this week. Either way, this is the end of our episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. If you didn't, you can leave a dislike and a comment telling me on how to improve because I will always appreciate creative... I will always appreciate constructive criticism. And uh, farewell for now. Oh, we'll see each other next episode. Farewell.